Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today I'm going to do something different again. I went to my email this morning and it's the first of the month. So on the first of the month, what did I find but my new digital designs for my long arm. I have a Gamel Statler long arm. It is a computerized machine that I can also use as free motion. I'm not stuck to just using it as um, a computerized machine. But every single month since I've had my machine, I have gotten these different patterns. She has three different levels in her clubs. She has a bronze level, she has a silver level, and then she has a gold level. Um, I belong to the silver le level, I'm right in the middle. So I'm gonna show you the designs that I get, um, or at least what they look like and what I got for this month which, month, which is September of 2016. So I'm gonna show you the designs that I got for September of 2016. And I'm also going to describe to you in what instance I would use them and my thoughts on the designs. I, um, I like Anne's things and the reason I like them is they quilt out very, very smoothly and quite honestly, my machine likes them. There are designers out there that quilt them to the point that your machine goes, if my finger's the needle, it basically goes punch, 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 and it just, they take forever. They're really, really dense and um, just not nice to stitch with. So I've got, um, Anne is not that way. Anne's designs are great to work with. And as I said, I've gotten them for years and I do enjoy them. It's not a club that I'm about ready to give up or um, stop purchasing patterns from her because she does have some really nice ones. So stick around and I will show you what my September of 2016 looks like. I want to share today with you Anne's patterns. I'll come back and share somebody else, another one of the designers, another month. But as I had said in the introduction, I belong to one of her clubs. So every single month I get a bunch of patterns. She's got three different clubs. She's got the um, bronze club where you get this sheet of patterns, similar to this. And then she's got a um, silver club where you get additional ones. Now in the bronze, you always get four B2B, so four edge to edge designs or border to border designs however you choose to um, call it. And then the other thing that you get is borders. There's always four borders. The borders usually obviously go with the B2B patterns that she gives you, but these are what they are. So every month I get patterns like this and they're always a little bit different, but I like Ann's patterns for a couple of reasons. Number one, they stitch out really smoothly. Very rarely is there hiccups or does the machine go from stitching fast to really, really slow. It, she just, she does a great job of designing them. But these are the patterns that I got this month. So when I look at these patterns, when I get them every month, I look at them and go, okay, are they ones that I'm really going to use or are they ones that I may not? Looking at this right, the first glimpse when it came off the printer, I looked at it and I went, yup, this one I'm absolutely going to use. This is Asian honeycomb B2B, so it goes border to border. I would use that in a number of different ways. First of all, I'd use it as a background fill in a quilt. I would use it obviously as an edge to edge for what it was designed for. I would also take this and potentially shrink it and use it as a border pattern. So if I've got a quilt that's got a really wide border on it and I'm trying to find a design that's going to kind of push that border away or um, even in my hexagon quilt, this may be something that I'm actually interested in doing to kind of make that background disappear a little bit. So that one I know I'm going to do. I'm going to use that one and I'll use that one a lot. That's a good one. This is another one that I'm going to use a lot. What I try to do when I look at a piece of fabric is I try to find 
an element in the fabric and duplicate that in the quilting pattern. So I will look for one small element in there and go, okay, how am I gonna quilt that? Like for instance, in this piece of fabric, this is something I'm working on right now. See these flowers? I would definitely look for something that goes along with that. Um, another thing, I wouldn't use a quilting pattern for this, but see those little, that little dot piece? On this piece, what I would do if I wanted to hand quilt it would be I would do something like the big stitch. And if you Google big stitch, you can see all kinds of videos on it. A lot of people do that. So as I said, I would be looking for these flowers in a quilting design for something like this. Okay. So I know I'm going to use this one. I know I'm going to use this flower because I've seen that duplicated many times in different pieces of fabric. In this one, the rainbow clouds, that one I would also use. That would be a great quilt for a children's quilt. And the reason being that it would be is because I want you to take a close look at this design. All right. Okay, so what these two lines do together is they push that fabric together. They take that top, middle, and backing piece and they just kind of push it together. But what this large opening does, because you've got these lines together to push it back, they make it pop up. So what's going to happen in there, especially if you use something like wool batting, it is going to be beautiful. It will just make it like pop and you'll have just this fabric that stands up. So that is a really cool design, especially for a child's quilt. And you can see inside of this one too, I want to grab something to point for you. See how these go around? Okay. And then inside of it, there's these little, um, spikes almost coming up and going back down because they're going up and back down inside of this piece the same thing's going to happen with that you're going to have these lines that push those three layers together then you're going to have this open space that allows those three layers to kind of pop out a little bit okay the palm tree print i would probably use this palm tree sunset i would probably use that in probably some type of a themed quilt if i end up with a quilt that's got palm trees as the um fabric design then i would definitely use something like that in there the hibiscus mm, the hibiscus that's kind of out i'm not really sure that that border is one that I'm necessarily going to use. I may, I may not. I just, I don't know, it depends. I believe that I do have an edge to edge pattern that's pretty similar to this, but not exactly. So out of this whole thing, so far I've got one, two, three, four patterns that I know I'm gonna use. I've got the border for the palm trees that I would definitely use with that. This would be not only an edge to edge, but it's also a fill. And I would also use that as a border. This border I would definitely use with this edge to edge. And this border, this, um, I'm reading upside down. But anyhow, this border I would absolutely positively use. I'm going to move the camera closer so you can see it. This border is great for especially those little two inch strips or one inch strips that you've got because on my machine I can enlarge in it, I can make it larger or I can make it smaller. So that is absolutely a fantastic pattern. So out of all of these, the only one that I think I may not use right away is this hibiscus. So that's not bad, I'm very pleased with that. I also do subscribe to the silver set. And the silver set is really more of a custom, um, for custom quilting. 
Inside of the silver set, you get singles, which is, I'll put this over it so you can see. There's the little single right here. I'll take close-ups too. And you get quads, which is, here's one of the designs, two, three, four of it. Um, this is a double one. You get just the single Moffat or motif so that if you wanted to do something special in a spot, you could do that. And you can see it comes together in a whole bunch of different ways. Now I have been known in the past to take something like this one where it's eight, it's an eight wide block. I've been known to take something like this and make it into an edge to edge. It causes really dense, dense quilting and it looks really nice, so I really like it. Now, there's a third level, and the third level I don't get, so I'm not exactly certain exactly, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly certain what comes in the next set up. I just know I don't subscribe to it. I do pretty good with these two, and I'm pretty happy with them, and for what I pay, I'm really happy. So that is my, um, this is my silver, is these two. Just the bronze would give you these. And then the other thing that Ann does every month is Ann does um, specials. In this month in September, here's the sheet of all the B2Bs or border to borders that she has on special. So you can also, for an additional fee, get these specials. Without a doubt, buying these specials is definitely a financial savings because of the way she offers them. So this is the last section. Something like this one I would definitely use. Um, the cats, in fact, somebody I know has a cat quilt that's coming in pretty soon. So that one's pretty good. This is a very, very nice, simple flower, which would work. The fish one is cute. The reason I think it's really cute is because of the bubbles on top of the fish. I do have a fish pattern right now, but the fish mouth is wide open and the fish is huge. And I like the fact that right here, she has worked in an additional fish that's really cute. Um, this little J Japanese tea house is cute. Here's the uh, hibiscus flower again. I'm just not thrilled with it, but it's a nice, you know, it's okay. The pop art, I don't know that I would do anything with that one. And the sumo wrestlers, I'm not sure that I'd do anything with that one. But the lobsters, I may end up, you know, I might be able to do something with that one someday. So anyhow, gives you an idea of some of the other patterns that she currently has in stock. So as I said again, I subscribe to the Silver Month. And for the silver every month, I get something like this, where I'm getting four edge to edge patterns in four borders. And then I also get the silver, which allows me to get some really more customized prints or customized designs. Thanks so much for sticking around today and for taking a look at Ann's designs for September of 2016. As I've said a couple of times, I really like Ann's designs. I think she does a great job. Um, and she must have been doing it for years because she really does do a great job. If you guys would like to see more of these videos, please do leave a comment below so that I know you want to see them again. As I said, this is something brand new that I've never done before. So I didn't know if you would like it or not, but I thought I got to give it a shot and let you guys see what they look like. I do get a second designer every single month. And if you guys like this, I'll pull out her designs when I get those and I'll show you what hers look like too. So thanks so much for joining me. Below will be a link to get directly to Ann's website so you can take a look at her designs. And I'll see you back here again really soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.